What is going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we are back with another Pokemon Challenge video. Today we are doing Pokemon Emerald and we are not just doing Pokemon Emerald again. We're doing Pokemon Emerald using Struggle only. Yeah, Struggle, yay. The worst move in the game. So uh, if you guys do not know what Struggle is, Struggle is kind of a move. Uh, once you lose all your PP and all your moves, uh, there is a way you can attack. And it's just you struggling to do damage. So you struggle, you do damage, uh, you do recoil damage to you. Uh, in generation three and two, it's recoil damage dependent on the amount of damage you do. But generations are done, it'll be the uh, amount of HP you have. So this is the only generation you could really do it in. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, we're gonna try to beat the game using struggle only. Now to start, we have three choices as a starter, and each of them have different perks. But I rather choose the one that's going to have the highest attack stat. The highest attack stat is going to be the most useful for early games because struggle is still like uh, an attack basically, and it will work off your physical attack. I reset into I got a 12 stat Torchic, and then from there I train it up as much as I can using struggle and using potions around me to get a higher level. So once we fight our rival, we'll be able to beat him. And uh, to quickly go over the rules because I forgot. Uh, we can use potions, obviously, we can use items and all that, but not inside the battle. So when we're in battle, we cannot use them. We, we can use hell items in the battle. So like berries, we can use hell items. And also, we can use any Pokemon as we want. We just can't use any moves. We have to use struggle constantly. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas, and also subscribe if you guys are not already. Greatly appreciate it, and obviously thank you so much for the support. Now let's get back into the challenge. Now I'm trying to battle as many people as I can and also collect all the berries everywhere as I can. Uh, also fight the wrist trainers as much as I can because they have the most money. Then they're going to be buying my potions for me. Uh, we head into Rustbow City. Uh, right outside is a route next to it. And we're going to evolve our Torchic into a Combuskin there. We need a Combuskin because Combuskin is part fighting type. And the first gym is a rock type. So we're going to need some um, obviously resistance to it. So... That is why we have our Combuskin. After that, we're going to fight Roxanne. Unfortunately for us, Roxanne is pretty tanky and it takes numerous tries. We even have Oran Berries held on uh, and it doesn't really help us and we just continue to struggle. One time, she just kept missing Rock Tombs uh, and then at the end, she crits me with the Rock Tomb and, beat me, and beats me. So that is one of the issues I have that you know I, I kind of struggle with but eventually we get a very lucky roll where the nose pass barely attacking us and is using tackle instead of rock two and then at the end we crit it with a struggle and we beat it and that's how we beat roxanne the first gym leader uh it takes numerous tries but you know what <laughs> we still beat it after that situation we head into duford do everything duford we catch a few but one we catch aaron here and we also catch a magic carp outside and we go back all the way to Rustboro, get our XP share, and then start training these Pokemon up. Uh, because these two will be very useful for us, so we're gonna have to, you know, train them up pretty decently. Spent a lot of time here, and we it, we're using struggle only. Uh, Magikarp actually has a move it can use, and Magikarp actually eventually gets to the level to evolve. We have a Gyarados on deck. Uh, it took a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot, a lot of time to train up a Magikarp to a Gyarados using struggle. But the XP share is pretty useful, I'm not gonna lie. We head into probably the second gym leader of Hoenn and basically it's pretty simple because Gyarados has Intimidate, it'll cut your attack in half and from there it's just easy peasy. Combuskin actually finishes off the battle against Makugita and Makugita goes down. We get our second gym badge, very very nice. After that, we can uh, buy as much soda pops as we can and we're gonna like, just stock up on soda pop because that's really what <laughs> we need. From there, we're gonna HM Rock Smash since cut is not necessary. I won't get cut, but Rock Smash is necessary, so we're gonna just teach Rock Smash to any of our Pokemon. All of them can learn it, uh, but the moves don't matter. We're just gonna use Struggle anyway, so moves don't matter. We just teach it to our main Pokemon. No need for the HM Sleep. Here in Marvel City, we're gonna fight against the third gym leader. However, the third gym leader kinda, 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 kinda hard. Not gonna lie. Uh, takes us down a few times, so we gotta you know retry and retry. Uh, but eventually, eventually when we start off uh, with Aaron takes a few Pokemon down herself and you know, it's pretty useful. High attack stats for a little uh, little rock thing. And as we sacrifice Aaron, sacrifice Aaron, we're gonna take down Magneton with our Gyarados and then Combuskin has to clutch it up itself. And it, luckily it does that just fine. Uh, as in just fine, as in barely. <laughs> 
we revolve our blaze again all the way up and we caught we caught a swablu as well swablu is going to be pretty useful because we're going to need a flying type and we're also going to need something um we just need a flying type honestly uh <laughs> swablu came in mind because it was close but since we're pretty high level for uh, where we are in the game uh the gym battles aren't going to be too too hard but at the same time they're going to be pretty hard because we're still using struggle as the only move um so we do lose two flannery once uh but we come back and we stomp her uh Gyarados finishes off the Torko very easily, and then we move on. We move back all the way back to Petalburg. Uh, from that point, we got an Altaria. Not to scare anyone, but we almost lose against Norman. So we start off the fight with a Blaziken. Blaziken's gonna face check the Spinda, and then from there, we're gonna let it face check the Vigoroth. It does a lot of damage to the Vigoroth, but then later on, has to finish it off. And then next comes his Ace, which is when we slacking. We're gonna send out Gyarados because Gyarados has Intimidate, we're gonna weaken it down. Uh, then sends out Altario, try to weaken it down more. Uh, again, slacking is pretty strong, uh, and struggle is not really helping. So we're gonna keep using Gyarados to uh, weaken it down, but it does have Feign Attack, which is a special move in this game. Um, luckily, he doesn't use it, and his facade still hurts. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's going on here. He has such a strong facade, and then later on comes out, later on goes to sleep. Uh, but it takes down the slacking, but it has to clutch up against Lanoon. Uh, luckily, Lanoon does not rock smash, and we beat Lanoon with our Laron, and we clutch things up. So our team is coming up uh, fully strong. It's looking pretty nice. From there, uh, I didn't want to use the Poke Center because that would revive all my Pokemon, and <laughs> the PPs will be back. I don't want to deal with that situation right now, so I'm trying to get to a place where I can just buy revives and then. Uh, just heal him from there because that will revive him without PP and you know heal him without PP But uh, eventually I had to suck it up and then you know go back into draining all their PP uh, I don't attack any wild Pokemon while I'm draining PP um, I want to uh, clarify that I don't uh, do anything I just drain them uh, on a different application uh, Make all my PP zero so I can struggle and not <laughs> really do anything else But from there uh, we head to Winona's gym in Fortree City for Fortree City will be the 6th gym, and it's a flying gym, it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. We're gonna walk through it pretty easily, our Pokemon are pretty good. So we head into Winona's gym fight, uh, the Swablu starts out against my Gyarados. Well, that didn't go well, Swablu's not gonna go well, <laughs> Swablu's not gonna stop my Gyarados, I'm not gonna lie. Next up, Tropius comes out, Tropius, uh, just gonna get walled by my Laron somehow. Um, so, also didn't use Solar Beam against my Laron, which is interesting. Uh, special move, it would've done a lot, but it didn't do anything. Uh, then I'm just struggling against this Altaria. Altaria is not, uh, the, the opposing Altaria will obviously win because it does get to Dragon Ends and Aerial Ace me, but at the same time, Gyarados halves his attack and then knocks it out. Pelipper comes out, it's not going to do anything to anyone. Um, my Blaziken is doing uh, some work, it does half in one hit, and then Gyarados finishes off the second half with it. And then finally, it's the Skarmory, which is probably the most annoying one because it does take a lot. Uh, it has a uh, pretty high defense, but Blaziken. Four shots it with his high attack is uh, pretty good. Blaziken is really, really good uh, in terms of struggling. <laughs> the best Dragomon <laughs> is Blaziken. Uh, from there, we just go through the maze and then heading to Lily Cove. Establish our Lily Cove hub here. Then we could fly to Mount Pyre and then do everything with Team Aqua. Fly back to Team Magma's hideout uh, next to Lava Ridge and then do all the things we're here. And then we'll fight Maxi for the first time. Maxi will be pretty easy. Three Pokemon. Uh, and we could switch around most of his Pokemon. The hardest part about this hideout was trying to leave because I forgot how to leave. So I was winning. I was going in a circle. The Maxi fight was pretty easy, but <laughs> leaving was hard. Here we do everything in the Team Aqua hideout and we beat. Who's, who's, the, who's the dumbass name? What's his dumbass name? Is it admin? What's the admin's name? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is going to be weird because I don't know the admin's name. Admin Matt, my bad. Sorry, guys, I forgot. Admin Matt, <laughs> I had to go back to uh, where where it was in the recording to find Admin Matt. Anyways, so we finished the Team Aqua hideout. So we head into Moss Deep City. It will be the seventh gym location, and it will be a double battle, the uh, most annoying one. So we're going to have to uh, go through all the puzzle. The puzzle isn't hard uh, once you understand it. The hardest part is actually gym fight, which is surprising because a lot of gym fights aren't hard. Uh, this one's pretty hard in general. Uh, so we start off Liza Tate, Liza Tate, Clado, Zatu. I start with both my flying types, so it cannot use Earthquake on me. So that's a, I mean, I think that's a pretty smart plan in general. Um, turns out they just double attack my Gyarados, and it's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, struggle, I can't choose who's a, who I'm attacking, so it's all luck based. And we just have to. I want to take down the Clado. Clado is the most, is the biggest threat. Like earthquake, I'm weak to with two of my Pokemon, and you know Clado is just the best Pokemon on this team. So we have to try to take down Clado, but it's just random targets. I'm not saying anything, but the one time we take down Clado, we actually win. I'm not saying anything, but I think that that's a uh, that's not a coincidence. Clado is the best. So we gotta. It takes a while, but eventually Altaria and Agron clutches up, takes down the Soul Rock. And we beat Lies and Tate. And next up is the Steven Stone versus Maxi and Tabitha fight. Uh, I'm just gonna be struggling while Maxi kind of carries me through this. Uh, I'm gonna be struggling while Steven kind of carries me through this. And it's not really my fault. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything. I mean, I already got my seven gym badge. I'm really chilling. So I mean, Steven want to stop him. You know, he's the strongest uh, trainer in the world in Hoenn. So he gotta he gotta do it himself. Ain't my problem. And Steven does clutch it up, which is pretty scary because Steven just. 1v6 them, I feel like. Steven definitely 1v6 them. His Matang goes down at the end, but Matang basically just won us the battle. And, I mean, I ain't complaining. So from there, I actually want to do a bit more searching around. I want to get a Shell Bell for me. Because Shell Bell will be a restoring Hell item that uh, restores HP based on how much damage you do. So, I mean, it will counteract the struggle. Because struggle does Rico damage to you based on the damage you do to the opposing Pokemon. So from there, we're gonna just look at uh, finding show salts and show cells. Show salt. We're gonna try to find show show salt. We're gonna find show shells. We're gonna find the things in the cave. <laughs> we're gonna find the things in the cave and then um, come back. We need to find four of them. Give it to the old man. We'll get a uh, shell bell. And then from there, uh, we're gonna keep it on a blazekin. Blazekin's gonna do the most damage, most HP recover. Um, but obviously, it's not gonna be on him forever. As we move through, we're gonna fight Archie for the first time, and then, um, well, we're gonna clap Archie because you know we have some strong monsters. We got shooters in the back. Uh, I, the shooters are just hitting itself in confusion, though. But like, uh, they're working on it. They're really working on it. Well, <laughs> we drew there, and then when Sharpedo comes out, Sharpedo gets two shot at by my play skin, which is scary. Oh my god, play skin, calm down. What you, who you think you are, trying to two shot people like that? Anyways, now we gotta do this topless thing. Um, essentially, uh, I wanna prime myself, set a hub in Pacific Log, set a hub in Sutopolis, and then fly back and forth. Uh, meet Rayquaza, uh, go back and go back to Lily Cove actually, go into the Aqua Hideout, get the Master Ball real quick, go back to Sutopolis, watch the cutscene, you know, world's ending, I just need my Master Ball, uh, watch that. Uh, do everything with Sutopolis. Get the gym open and then head back to Pacific Lock because we're going to catch Rekoiza. As a kid, I hated this bike puzzle because, for one, um, I was not really good with it. And number two, uh, I'm not sure how I'm better with it because I have a joystick. I have like a, I have like an Xbox controller. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this, uh, but I did it fast. I did it better than I would as a kid, which is <laughs> kind of sad. Anyways, we find Rekoiza at the top and we're gonna catch it with a Master Ball from there. We're gonna give it a Shell Bell, we're gonna drain its PP, and then we're gonna head into the 8th gym battle. Uh, pretty hard, um, surprisingly. Uh, even with Rekoiza, it only has struggle, so it, that's the only thing it can do, but it has the highest attack stat uh, I can I don't know, ask for. It one shots to love this, but King Troll comes out, it it has a weird like roll with King Troll, where it doesn't two shot it normally, so. I don't know what I don't know what's going on, so I keep resetting. Eventually, I just switch out between each of my Pokemon to you know uh, let my Rayquaza come out and finish the job. Uh, Rayquaza will come out at the end, finish off Kingdra, and then try to finish off the rest of the battle. And it does really it does work pretty well until the Celio hits me with a very stupid move. Why did I do that? It's, it's very rude. But last comes out Crawdon Crawdon 20, 28 HP versus Rayquaza. Just decided to use Taunt. <laughs> use Taunt for no reason. <laughs> sure. Uh, crazy clutches up and we beat Juan and we get the ace gym badge and now we're heading into the Elite Four. Of course, uh, we're gonna dump a few Pokemon. We're gonna dump Altaria. We're gonna get a different Pokemon. Uh, cause we're gonna need six Pokemon. And what we decide on is Hariyama and a Wailord. Both are pretty decent against water types because our team is very weak to ice and water. Um, and that's gonna be the final champion fight. So, that's not gonna be very good for us. We can't be doing that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this, but champion Wallace like that, because Wallace can be very hard because we're just using struggle. So obviously we're gonna take out Ontario. We're gonna train up a Wailord. We're gonna train up the Hariyama. 
Once we're set up, Bracer will be level 77, Warlord 60, Gyarados 55, Blaziken 60, Aggron 60, Hariyama 55. And then from there, we are ready to go to the first Elite Four member, Sydney. Sydney is the Dark type Elite Four member. And well, we're gonna start over with Razor. Each of my members will have their attack weakened, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I don't do enough to do a two shot it, so I switch out my Gyarados. I don't want my Razor to get weakened. I'm playing favorites, okay? I'm playing favorites, my bad. Uh, but Razor can't be weakened too easily, so I send out my Gyarados. Gyarados takes down Mighty Anna. Abzar comes out for no reason. Swords dance in front of me. I miss his, I missed two struggles. Firstly, I didn't know struggle can miss. Secondly, I missed two struggles. <laughs> what is going on? So I'm pretty scared at this point. And then uh, where Crazy comes out, he's gonna batter him pretty easily. Slaps him around, two shots him, and then next up is Shift Tree. I two shot Shift Tree as well. Shift Tree used double team. I missed double. I missed struggle again, and then struggle hits it. Cactic comes. I don't want to play with Confusion, so sends up my Blaziken. Two shots the Cacturn, which is surprising. Anyways, Crawdon comes out. Sword stands in front of me. Gets knocked out. What's with Crawdons and just letting me win? What's going on, guys? After that, we head into Phoebe's chamber. Phoebe's gonna be ghost type, and thankfully, struggle is not a normal move anymore. I think, I think in Generation One it was a normal move or somewhere like that. Struggle wasn't effective, but anyways, we're heading to Phoebe, and we're gonna start with a Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados gonna try to one v one this Dusclops. Uh, doesn't turn out well, so we're gonna switch out and let Aggron finish it off. Next up, we, we sent out our debut Warlord. I chose Warlord because it has a lot of HP. Also resists the water types. That's gonna be in the champion fight. Does a lot to this dust clubs and then I'm gonna let Rayquaza finish it off. Cause uh, I didn't want a lot of my other Pokemon to fight against it. Cause this dust clubs in particular has Ice Beam and Earthquake. So you don't want to mess around with that one. And Bennett uh tries to grudge me, um grudge my struggle, try it. I one shot a Sableye? What 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 how do I one shot a Sableye? <laughs> Anyways, uh we beat Phoebe with Rayquaza and finish off. Next up is the Ice Chamber, which is gonna be very, very interesting how that's gonna work out. Against Glacia, uh, I started the battle with my Blaziken because Blaziken still has a high attack stat. So I want to do enough damage to it. Uh, I don't mind if I go down. I'm just trying to do enough damage to it where it will like be easier for the rest of my team to handle it. It used Hail the first turn, so not too much of an issue. And from there, we do enough damage to allow, you know, get Rekoyza to one-shot it in return. Don't take any damage at all. And then Glalie will come out. Since Hario has Thick Fat, it will resist the Ice Moon pretty easily. Uh, knock down the Glalie. And then next up will be another Celio. I put Aggron in front. Aggron does a lot of damage. Uh, three shots it in the end, and then it three shots it in the end, and then Walring comes out. Walring is gonna be the biggest issue on the team, so we're gonna try to you know weaken it around him. And it was in decent positions for it to go down. And then you know I kind of messed up, set up my Recoiser for no reason. Uh, then I have to backtrack, set up my Aggron. I was just trying to pray. Uh, Whaler comes out, does a one third to it, gets frozen though. Um, so you know. That's not really good. That's not really cash money. But struggle, uh, crits it, knocks down the wall ring, and then now is Rayquaza versus uh, Glalie. Uh, apparently, Rayquaza is so strong it actually knocks out Glalie from half HP with struggle, and we beat Glacio. Uh, I'm not complaining. So from there, we're gonna head into Drake, uh, Canada Drake, um, two C slide Drake, uh, right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Uh, that type of Drake. Um, Anyways, we're gonna head into uh, Drake using Blaziken from the start. Uh, Shellgun, I just don't know what to do against Shellgun, so I uh, put my strongest attacker against it. All my Pokemon are holding a Citrus Berry, uh, besides my Rayquaza, so I'm gonna preface that. From there, Altera will come out. You know, Haryon trying to struggle it down. Maybe not the best pick, but again, it was all based on damage, and then Rayquaza will outspeed it regardless, knock it out. So it's getting, I mean, Rayquaza is getting free kills, but everyone's setting him up for it. So everyone's a playmaker, Rayquaza is the scorer. Gyarados comes out, weakens the Flygon, um, so it can't really like I don't know, weakens the Flygon in a way. I don't I don't know what I was just thinking. Just gonna use Dragon Breath anyways. Uh, sends out my Wormer. Wormer gets uh clobbered pretty fast. Uh, I thought Wailer was gonna you know do some damage to those elements. It wasn't. It, it turned out it wasn't. And then now I'm kind of stuck in a position where I'm like oh, Salamence getting pretty strong out here. Where can you can you finish him off? It cannot finish him off. Ooh, and then forward swords. I was like, no, don't do that. <laughs> and then, oh my god. So I'm 50, 50 HP against the Kingdra. Kingdra, oh my god, Kingdra gets crit. It dragon ends in front of me and then gets crit for be punished. They got punished for BMing. Why would you BM right in front of Rayquaza? It crits it and we beat the Kingdra and we beat Drake. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I was so happy when this happened. Now the happiness stops because, you know, we're going into the fight against Wallace. Wallace is going to be a very annoying. Uh, we, can't find a uh, we can't find a solution for the Werelord to start. Werelord is just too strong offensively, which is crazy to say. So we have to trade our Werelord for his Werelord. And essentially, we give up our Werelord. And then through trial and error, we found out that we have to give up our Werelord for Werelord. And then from there, uh, Ludicolo will come out. Um, then Wakeraza will come out two shots to Lulicolo every single time. It's two shot every single time, uh, even if you use double team. Send out Wakeraza. Wakeraza is gonna uh, take an ice beam. It just has to take an ice beam. Knocks out the Milotic, and that's all. That's what's gonna happen. That's exactly what's gonna happen. That's all we gotta do. And then Wish Cash comes out. Wish Cash will be slowly whittled down, and then uh, in prime position to be smacked. Uh, Wakeraza will finish off the battle and we beat Wallace. We are the champions of Hoenn using struggle only. Now, we won't be the best trainer in the world. Like I said earlier, we said Steven was the strongest trainer in the game. Uh, it's time to test that against our struggle team. Um, am I stupid? M maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm stupid. But anyways, we head into the Steven fight. Steven versus Agron. Um, to start, uh, I chose Agron to fight against Skarmory because Agron has the most defense and it could live against, you know, Skarmory most of the time and put Skarmory in a position where, you know, it's low enough for the rest of our team to handle it. Um, Skarmory will go down, boom, and then Klaido comes out. Klaido will be handled by my, uh, Waylord will handle Klaido. Uh, Klaido does a lot of damage to me, but luckily it, you know, just kind of lets me, uh, weaken it. Agron comes out, Agro is gonna hopefully miss a few thunders, and then uh, Gyarados takes one though. Gyarados takes one though, so it's fine in that front. You know, thinking back, I should've, um, I should've reset it in front of that Rayquaza to get an adamant Rayquaza. It might've been more useful, because my Rayquaza right now is quirky. But you know what? We live and learn. Then Armado comes out, Armado will be weakened down by my Blaziken, Rayquaza finishes off, takes the free kill. And then Cradley will be knocked down by my Rayquaza. And then finally, it will be his Metagross. So, so when Metagross comes out, Metagross will be fighting against Warlord. Uh, I do one stick of damage, and then Metagross kills my Warlord, which is fine. Uh, Haryon comes out, Haryon will do no damage to him at all. And I'm really just giving him opportunities to set up, and that was the dumbest move I could do. So, Rayquaza comes out. Luckily, he's flying, so he doesn't get hit by the spikes on the floor. Uh, struggle. Struggle the first time. Uh, luckily, it hits me in the face with a meter mash. Um, Rayquaza hopefully will retaliate. It does retaliate. Hits it and um, it activates his citrus berry. From there, we struggle again. Misses his ma it misses meter mash. It's doable. Struggle again. Uh, misses meter mash again. Oh my god. Have we just done it? Did we just do it? There's no way we just did it. And we have done it. He misses his meter mash t two times in a row, and that is it for Metagross. So we destroy it. We beat Steven Stones using oh, struggle only. We beat everyone using struggle only. And that's crazy. Um, obviously, we have to use the box art legendary. We have to use the strongest Pokemon you can get with Quasar. So, uh, you know, don't take that away from the point that we just struggled everyone to death. So, thank you for watching all the way to the end. This is a longer video than normal. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas and also subscribe for this amazing challenge honestly it was so much fun thank you for watching my name is alpha and i'm out peace